We often hear that chain pet stores aren't the best place to get reptiles, but why? And what about if we rescue from chain pet stores? Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are talking about buying pets, specifically reptiles, from chain pet stores. This is something that I've talked about quite a bit on this channel and I think I've even made this video before like five years ago, but here we are again. Before we get started, I need to preface this video by saying that number one, I do not have a problem at all with chain pet stores. I get my dog food from chain pet stores. I do emergency food runs to chain pet stores. I also don't have a problem with most of the people that work at chain pet stores. A lot of them are reptile keepers themselves. I have friends that work at chain pet stores. So please don't think that if I make a comment about chain pet stores that is adherently negative. It is talking about anyone specifically. I promise that's not the case. Let's, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. The point is everyone out there that works at chain pet stores that are good keepers and are giving good information to the customers, thank you so much. You are the MVP. You are awesome. You are heroes. That was a very long and long-winded disclaimer. So let's get started. All right, the first and most important reason that many people will suggest against buying animals from chain pet stores is where they get those animals from. The vast majority of chain pet stores are getting their reptiles from places that are mill breeding those animals. So essentially they are just like factory breeding animals. Whereas if you go to a reptile show, you have individual people who are taking care of those animals and paying attention to those animals. On the other hand, most chain pet stores get their reptiles from mills. They are just cranking out animals as fast as possible. They are kept in very cramped conditions, very poor conditions. A lot of those animals will ship out sick. That becomes a very pricey and very sad situation for you as the person buying that animal because now you have to take it to the vet. You have to take extra care of that very sick animal. Getting a new pet is stressful anyway. Getting a sick new pet is even more stressful. A lot of times those animals don't make it, especially when they are babies and someone thinks that they are rescuing that animal. A lot of times those animals don't make it and I don't want you to have to go through that. So that's a huge thing. Just the awful conditions that those animals come from and arrive in. So the next one is just the poor care taken of those animals. I kind of just touched on all of that. But again, just to reiterate, when you get an animal from a breeder, that breeder has been watching that animal since it was born. Like breeders, good breeders absolutely love bringing those babies up. They know that that animal has eaten on this day and what they ate and the weight usually of that animal. When you get them from chain pet stores, they are not paying that attention to them because they're literally just breeding them in mass quantities for money. So keep that in mind. Sick animals means vet bills. It means heartache. It means just a whole bunch of sadness and frustration. The next one is the care tips given out at chain pet stores. Again, like I said in the beginning, this does not apply to everyone. There are some amazing workers out there who are doing so much legwork in combating things like care guides given out by those places. I have done multiple videos going over care guides that are available at chain pet stores. A lot of times when new workers are hired at those places, they're not given classes. They're not given any sort of information. They just go out onto the floor and they give what little knowledge that they have. And a lot of times it comes from the little pamphlets that sit right there in front of the reptile the ones out there that keep reptiles and are combating that. Thank you so much. You're amazing. When you have someone that has never had a reptile before, they walk into a pet store and they're like, oh, a bearded dragon. It's so cute. And they want that. And the person has never kept bearded dragons before. And they just like, oh, here's a 20 gallon tank. Take this kit. It's the way to go. Already that person is set up to fail it's pretty sad. <laughs> like that poor person thinks that they're doing everything that they should be doing because it's a kit. That's the way it was given to them. They have been set up very poorly and that animal is 
potentially is going to get sick. It just, it's a bad situation. And unless that person goes and does their own research, they don't know any better. So that animal just stays that way. Huge, huge issue there with buying pets from chain pet stores. And if you are like, no, I've done all the research. I just wanted to rescue this animal. Let's talk about that. So those chain pet stores work off of supply and demand. What that means is that if that animal is sold in their system, the people higher up on the other end of that, they literally don't care that you bought that animal sick. All they see is money. They see that that animal is sold, they're going to replace it with another one. They don't care that you threw a fit in the middle of the pet store for 30 minutes about this sick animal. All they see is that you bought it, and they're going to now replace it with one the exact same way. They're gonna get it from the same place. They're not gonna care about the condition of that animal. They see dollar signs. So unfortunately, it is not possible to rescue animals from chain pet stores. If they just give it to you, that's different. Obviously, if they just give you this animal, then that does hurt them. That does hurt their numbers. And some people do get animals that way. Some people are able to get those animals for free. Most of the time it doesn't work that way. Most of the time people end up paying for them or even paying discounted prices is still paying money for that animal. So unfortunately, those really sick animals that we want so badly to help and we want to rescue from those chain pet stores unless you are getting it for free all you're doing in buying that animal is furthering their making money off of those animals i know it's awful and it makes you feel bad and it makes me feel bad but it is highly inadvisable to buy those animals for that reason but that is it that is all that i have for this video yeah if um I feel like this uh, it ended on a very sad and dark note. Hopefully this was helpful in explaining why, why people are very against buying pets from chain pet stores. Go Herping did a video a long time ago where he actually called a whole bunch of chain pet stores and just asked them where they got their animals from. And you can see exactly what mill each one got their animal from because most of them had no problem telling him. But that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. If you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on my social and like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is soon to be every Sunday again. Currently, it's like every other Sunday and then random days of shorts sprinkled in. So we're getting there. This week's Instagram shout out is here and this week's subscriber shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking and following and subscribing and sharing and commenting and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. My eye. Just open. Okay. In pet stores, a lot of them are reptile keeper nah. a lot of them are reptiles. so please don't think if i make a comment about people that work at pain so please don't think yeah it's just every bone in my body cracked this week's instagram is that it okay this was instagram shout out. soon to be every wednesday again um currently it's like every every wednesday soon to be every sunday again <laughs>